JSX restrictions in React. Welcome to Coding Locker, guys. This is the part third uh, where we will see what are the restrictions we have with JSX. And I'll keep it really simple and focus on uh, major two parts of which which are the restrictions. For first two parts, I'll uh, share the link in the description. In first part, we have configured our React application, right, uh, to have uh, a Hello World program. In the part second, we have understood what is uh, JSX, right? You must be familiar if you have was the part second. Then this is the third. So there are two uh, restrictions. The one is that you notice that we have like class name equals to app, right? If you focus here, if I again press F12 and go to the inspect element, you would see we have class and this is this is something with which we are uh, familiar with we write class and class name in the html right but here in the react in the jsx you always have to make use of this class name this class will not work because this is something predefined in react so you cannot use it so this is one of the re uh, restriction with the jsx another is that let's suppose you want to return something else let let, let me add like i want to add this p tag so can i do so let me control s and let's see what we have you can you can already see that something something is in red so there is there is some error the problem with jsx that everything have to be defined inside one root element that is our dev element so see we have some error here so what we need to do always we need to wrap are everything everything needs to be wrapped inside one root element this is the div and it, no matter uh, how many divs or oh, sorry how many divs yes and how many elements you want to add you can add it but keep it everything at the root element like this so this is working for us so these are the two uh jsx rest restrictions in react uh that's all for this uh, part we will continue in the next part but uh, if you guys have any query or doubt, you can always let me know. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm keeping re keeping this really simple, really fast, so that in less time we can understand all of the components, all of the features of a React application. So thank you for being at Coding Locker. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.